Hi guys, uh, good morning and uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you for tuning into the pre market analysis. We will try to analyze uh, what is the update available for today's market and what may be the expected behavior of today's market. Okay, before going to that, like you know, let me give you a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose, it is not a buyer sell recommendation, guys. Without further any delay, directly let us jump into the market. So, yesterday, if you see here, it's a kind of a new bar, a slight positive performance. The Nifty, even though it is uh, trading in a range bound, but every day it is recording the fresh highs. So as of now, there is no uh, specific direction where it is uh, moving in the direction of upwards or downwards. It is not uh, 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 predicting now. So as the Nifty overall gain for this uh, one week, if you see the five days performance, it is almost 0.1% of price. So this is basically coming from the bank so one of the major contributor for this such a good rally was uh, hdfc bank it was uh, moving upwards it is a immediate stock and if it, uh, if it moves so then obviously nifty will also move so it will go hand in hand, in hand. but yesterday uh, sdfc bank has come by to more than two percent but uh, why it was a flat uh, uh, nifty was trading flat is because of the icic bank is moving upwards so ICIC bank ensured that the Nifty will it is not fall downward. So at least uh, HDFC banks fell down, but ICIC bank uh, uh, I mean uh, go started going up. So because of that, it's uh, it carried the neutral way or a flat kind of or it was trading in that particular range. Bound. So today also HDFC bank will be on focus because of business update. Uh, I'll come back to that later. For now, the the focus for today is like you know. Maybe as we do not have any reversal signal, Nifty will continue to uh, move in that particular uh, range bound or it may uh, break this level also, 34,400 level also it can break and the immediate uh, the resistance will be 34,500. So if it breaks down then again the support will be 24,200 level. So as of now this is what the predicted level for the Nifty or if it uh, crosses this range bound then the should reach 24,500. If it breaks down, then 24,200 will last as a very good support. So, if you look at uh, the FI, I mean, FIS and DAS activity uh, yesterday trading June 4 session, FIS are the net buyers, uh, whereas uh, DAS are the net sellers. So, it seems the overall outlook of the broad market remains positive, but DAS are um, some they are probably picking up to a certain extent. So FIS are like you know investing in the Indian market in the cash segment. So quickly like you know let us come back to the stock radar for today. So today SDFC Bank and, and CG Power and Industrial Solutions, Econ International and RVNL and Raymond will be in focus. So CG Power and Industrial Solutions, the company has entered into a development agreement with Skybound Reality, AK, Raheja, Akro, Corporation Group Company for the Giant Development of the Property CG Housing in Mumbai. So, Irkan International, the company has received a letter of acceptance for work of design, supply, installation, testing, and commission of uh, broad gauge uh, ballast tails, track supply of ballast, and installation of track in Uttarakhand from RVNL. So, then again, RVNL will be in focus. The company has signed an MOU with the Delhi Metro Corporation for the participation in upcoming projects in India and abroad as well. So then comes Raymond. Raymond, the textile and fabric manufacturing announces a significant, significant restructuring move as its board of directors approved the demerger of its real estate business into Raymond reality. So again, uh, if the demerger happens, then again, whatever the Raymond shareholders will be, they, they will get one share of uh, Raymond reality as well. So that is what it is explained here. So then comes the, uh, the day is for banking day, I, we would call for today there are so many banks are having the business updates. So then first comes HDFC banks. So for quarter one of the financial account QRQ has been released. Actually advances fell 0.8% to 24,870 billion. Deposit down 0.03% to 23,790 billion. So CASA deposit dropped 5% to 8,635 billion. Those then comes Punjab National Bank. So this is also year-on-year update for this financial 
uh, here quarter one global business jumps 10.3 percent up and uh, global deposits grow 8.5 percent uh, then global advances also uh, up by 12.7 percent guys so then domestic deposits grow by 8.1 percent when compared with the last year 13.6 percent that grow so then comes adbi bank uh, this is also quarter one year on year total business grow 15 percent year on year One second, yes. total deposit rise uh, 13 percent and casa deposit increases 5 percent. So then comes RBI and uh, bank total deposit up to 18 percent. So then gross advance grow 18 percent up casa raises uh, 3 percent. So then comes Ujjivan Small Finance uh, Bank total deposit grow 22 percent. Uh, then casa raises 27 percent. Global loan book up to 19 percent up. So then uh, distri disbursement uh, plot uh, it is dis uh, disbursement is at uh, plot so these will be the in, uh, stocks will be in focus and i would say today banking uh, sector will be in focus as we have a business subjects uh, and few of the other stocks from non-banking uh, sectors will be in focus keep a close eye on all these things and we will watch and we will analyze the same so that's all uh, for the free market analysis we will try to see the analysis. If we get any updates, we will analyze in the evening session as well. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into the morning uh, setup.